Welcome to the Citra Intersection 9 tutorial series. In this video, we'll take a look at the interactive offsets tool in the Citra Intersection software. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. If you have suggestions for content, please leave us a message in the YouTube comment box. The Interactive Offsets tool allows you to graphically adjust traffic signal offsets to improve two-way progressions easily and effectively. Under the Network tab of the user interface, you will see your existing networks and routes in the Networks section of the project pane. Routes with coordinated signals are shown with a symbol next to the route name. We strongly recommend cloning your network before use of the Interactive Offsets tool, as this will affect your existing timing settings. Creating a clone will allow you to retain the original network timings and the resulting capacity and performance results. Applying the Interactive Offset tool to the cloned network will enable you to assess the effect of offset adjustments using output comparison reports. Select the network you wish to work with in the project pane. And in the Network Setup section of the command ribbon, click Clone Network with Sites. Use the right-click menu or the process command in the ribbon to process the cloned network. When you select a route under a network, the route input section will become available in the project pane. The route input section includes the interactive offsets command. Under the Route Output tab, you can open the Time Distance display to view valuable information about the existing signal coordination for the selected route. The display includes a button to open the Interactive Offsets dialog directly. Use the button or click Interactive Offsets in the Route Input section to open the dialog. Here, you will view an interactive time-distance diagram for the selected route. You can adjust signal offsets using a simple click-and-drag interface. In the dialog, Site, Approach, and Movements IDs for the selected route are shown. Signal timing bars indicate the green and red signal periods. As seen in the legend, traffic in the main route direction is shown with a green band. The traffic in the reverse route direction is shown in blue. In this example, signal offsets set for the northbound direction have resulted in poor progression in the reverse southbound direction, with a small proportion of traffic reaching a green signal at the downstream site. Let's use the Interactive Offsets dialog to adjust the signal offsets along the southbound route to achieve improved two-way traffic progressions. The signal timing bars surrounded with orange boxes indicate movements that may have their offsets changed. Click anywhere inside the box and drag to the left or right to change the offset of the associated site or CCG. Once you have made your desired changes, use the OK button to save the adjustments or click Process Network. The results of adjustments made using the Interactive Offsets function are saved as user offset values. These can be viewed by opening the Network Timing dialog in the Network Input section of the project pane. The user offset values are shown in the Signal Coordination table. 
various network output and root output reports and displays can be opened to assess the effectiveness of the offset adjustments made. Similarly, using the Lane Displays command, you can open the Signal Coordination display for another visual display of effectiveness of progression after using the Interactive Offsets function. A detailed Root Output Comparison report can be generated under the Tools tab. In the Output Comparison section of the ribbon, click Roots. Select the original and the cloned networks from the drop-down lists. Then, check the southbound route in both Route A and Route B sections of the dialog. Click OK to view the report in the display pane. Differences in performance measures such as travel time, delay, cost and emissions, and their percentage values are shown in the comparison report. As shown here for the delays group, negative differences in the last two columns indicate large reductions in delays on the route. This example shows that significant improvements can be obtained in all performance results by using the Interactive Offsets tool. To learn more about signal coordination and offsets, please refer to the Software User Guide and our other YouTube tutorial videos. This concludes our tutorial on the Interactive Offsets tool in Sidra Intersection. Thank you for watching.